So before we go any further, let's talk about some of the vocabulary involved with graph theory. So first off, a vertex. So a vertex is each of these things. It is the dots, the vert, the, the locations where, uh, edges meet. So this might be, uh, where two streets meet, like an intersection. It might be, uh, like in our bridges example, it might be representing a city or a location, and the, and then these edges, those are the lines connecting the, the vertices. Those are my edges. Uh, those can represent some kind of connection. So they might be a physical connection like this, or you could have, like, two cities, like, you know, Seattle and, uh, Seattle and LA, and an edge connecting them could represent something like a flight path. So an edge is simply representing that there is a connection between those two locations or those two vertices in some way. So degree of a vertex talks about how many edges meet at a, uh, meet at the vertex. So if I have a vertex all by itself, this would be degree 0. If I have one edge coming out of that vertex, then it would be degree 1. If I have two edges coming out, it's degree 2. If I have three edges meeting at a vertex, it's degree 3. So degrees tells us how many edges meet at a vertex. So what's the degree of this vertex? There are 1, 2, 3, uh, edges meeting at that vertex, so it's degree 3. How about this one? There are 1, 2, 3, 4 edges meeting at that vertex, so it's degree 4. This one is degree 2. So now, path. So on a graph, we can talk about routes, uh, from one location to another. So a path is a route, uh, along the pa along our graph that, uh, starts and ends at different locations. So for example, if I start here and walk this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, that way, that way, this is a path, uh, a path on the graph. A circuit, on the other hand, is a path that returns, returns to the starting point. So the circuit has to be looped around. So if I start here, this would be a circuit. Likewise, we could start here and go here, 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 here. Uh oh, no, no, never mind on that one. Here. And we've got ourselves another circuit. Uh, so it's possible to have multiple circuits on a graph. Uh, though later we'll talk about the idea of covering all the edges with a circuit, but that's a different problem, so we're not quite there yet. So next idea is an idea called connected. In this case, this graph is connected, is connected. The reason is because if I pick any two vertices, there is a path that will get me from here to here. I can simply follow this path there. In contrast, consider a graph like this. Right, where we have three vertices over here and four vertices over here, and if I were to pick this vertex and this vertex, there is no way to get between those two vertices, and so this is not connected. And in most of what we're going to be doing in this class, we'll be looking at connected graphs. Uh, but certainly we need to consider not connected graphs. So lastly is the idea of weights. Uh, now, sometimes all we care about is the fact that there is a connection between two locations, like with our bridges. But in a case like walking these paths, we might be interested in the length of these paths, in which case we might say that this is 100 feet and this is 200 feet. And those would be weights, or a length, or a cost associated with the edge. In case of our flight path here, there might be a flight cost that would be associated with that path, and that would be the weight on that edge.